Alright, so ito yung example natin. So yung kliyente ko, meron siyang 500 gallon na tank. Okay? 500 gallons. Okay. So a 500, a 500 gallons tank is being filled by two pumps. So meron siyang pump 1 tsaka pump 2. Nagsasama yung tubig niya and then fini-fill niya yung tank na to. Okay? So it took 4 hours to fill the tank to the top. So 4 hours yung time bago niya napuno yung tanki na to. So pump 1 flow rate is 2 times faster than pump 2. So yung pump 1 mas mabilis sa pump 2. So sabi niya yung pump 1 flow rate if I will make the operation so uh, ibig sabihin niyan at uh, 2 times ng pump 2. 2 times ng pump 2. Okay? So mas mabilis siya kung let's say 20 yung pump 2, 20 times 2, 40 yung pump 1. So 2 times faster than pump 2. Okay? So ang tanong is, ano yung flow rate ng each pump? What's the flow rate of each pump para mapuno niya to ng 4 hours yung 500 gallons? Okay? So lalagyan natin, meron tayong, meron tayong kaming equation na volume is equals to rate multiplied by time. So, yung V equals volume, yung R equals rate, and then yung T is equal to time. So, alam ko yung volume is 500. Hindi ko alam yung R. Multiplied by, napuno niya in 4 hours, so alam ko yung time. So, 500 divided by 4 equals rate. So, yung rate natin, yung flow rate natin, flow rate natin, is equal to 125 gallons per hour. Okay? Okay. So, so yung rate ng flow 1 tsaka rate ng flow 2, pag pinagsama mo yan, yun ang nagpupuno ron. So, makagawa ko na equation doon, yung total rate is equal to R1 plus R2. So, alam ko na yung R1, yung yung uh, R1 natin is 125. R1 ba siya? Uh, R, yung total R natin is 125, R total. So, alam ko na to. This is 125. Ngayon, R1 plus R2. Pero meron akong equation. Pwede kong substitute yung, yung uh, rate 1. Rate 1, ng, eto this one. This the rate, rate ng pump 1. So, this is R1, rate ng pump 2. R1, R2. So, yung rate na to, alam ko is 2R2. So, pwede ko siyang substitute. So, 2R2 plus R2 equals 125. So, 125 is equal to 3R2. So, R2 is equal to 125 divided by 3. So, R2 is equal to uh, 41.67 So, yung flow rate ng, ng R2 is 41.67 41 So, ibig sabihin, yung R1 natin will be uh, 2 times 41.67 So, mas mabilis siya So, lalabas siya ng 83.33 uh, Okay? So, itry na, try natin So, uh, 83 plus 41.67 uh, magtototal siya ng 125. Okay? So, yun po. Ganun po yung simple application na uh, ginagamit namin yung linear equation uh, kung with two variables. Ganun. Ito po yung example namin. So, marami pa po kami ron. Sometimes, uh, meron kami mga feeling gooseneck. Gusto malaman ng kliyente ano yung flow rate, kung tatlong gooseneck or apat, apat na gooseneck yung lalagay nila. So, the same uh, maybe uh, hindi, uh, uh, hindi natin masyadong uh, uh, tawag doon uh, so the same maybe hindi namin masyadong napapansin but we are using linear equations uh, almost like uh, part of our activities sa, sa engineering or sa design ng mga water refilling stations right so for now po yun lang may share ko sa inyo and I hope you learned something from this yung equation uh, Iyanin nyo yung given, substitution ng equation to 
dun sa given, mga ganun po. So, maraming maraming salamat po and uh, God bless.